Ladies and gentlemen, the Fed has just made a shocking announcement. Fact of the matter is they've been making this announcement for the last few months now. As we've seen a consecutive rise and in increase in interest rates as they tried to fight inflation. However, what they're not telling you explicitly is that the Fed is actually warning Americans. They're warning Americans with no savings. They're warning Americans with no assets. They're warning Americans that they are potentially going to be wiped out with the increase in job loss and unemployment as they push towards this uh, this 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 pipe dream of two percent inflation while raising the unemployment level to almost four and a half percent almost four and a half percent and this is barring any unforeseen circumstances that are out of their control that haven't quite yet happened yet which could be anything from uh, an advancement, uh, a, 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 a missile launch threat, another uh, another invasion by an ally or uh, of of an ally by another threatening country, a, a fuel circumstance that will affect global fuel supply and oil availability or oil pricing, perhaps maybe pushing for greater oil shipments and fuel shipments shipped out of the United States to the EU to Europe and the UK further crippling US American hard-working Americans middle-class working-class poor as they see their incomes being slashed to nothing through uh, firing layoffs hiring freezes pushed by the Fed which Jerome Powell himself said that the softening of the economy and the shrinking of balance sheets will cause at least a projected 1.2 million Americans to lose their jobs. Now, the Fed is specifically speaking to, if you guys aren't listening, they're specifically speaking to Americans out there, perhaps maybe on government assistance, uh, Americans out there that are uh, fixed income, Americans out there that have very little savings, they have very little uh, investment, if any. Perhaps uh, Americans out there, working class, poor, uh, middle class, barely getting by, living paycheck to paycheck, just trying to keep their head above water. And you'll say, well, Kevin, how can someone on Social Security, government aid and government assistance, perhaps maybe EBT or SNAP food benefit program, uh, food stamps or fixed income, how can they be affected by the Fed and job loss? Well, odds are these folks probably rely on a supplement of, to their income from someone else, whether it be a spouse or a roommate or a close relative, a, uh, a sibling, a, a child or a parent, they rely on their income. So if those folks are uh, suffering the consequences of the Fed's actions and are victims of layoff, well, then that will affect the household. So the Fed is actually warning folks middle class working class poor the americans the americans with no assets and no investments now folks i've been asked to create an investment course an investment guide and, and a series of investment videos for beginners folks are asking for this more and more they need to know how they can make their money make them money if you guys are interested let me know but the simple fact of the matter is, is that the folks out there who have the savings, the folks out there that, that not necessarily have high income, but they have the savings, they have the investments, they have the, the dividends that they are receiving, they have passive income streams, they have assets to fall back on, those folks are relatively at moderate to low risk. It's the folks out there that don't, that are at the highest risk and potentially more likely to be wiped out uh, as you know the economy is basically shut down as the Fed continues to push interest rates up although the Fed is stating that the next interest rate height may not be 75 basis points it could be 50 but even still it's going to have an echoing effect a long-lasting effect in the economy uh, especially as we roll through winter and and start 2023 and it's a warning sign, folks, for the people out there, the American citizens, the work, the, the folks out there working two, three jobs, trying to get by. They got their uh, Uber app. They got their 
uh, Lyft, they got their Grubhub, they got their Walmart Spark activated. These are the folks that are trying to do it. They're trying to get by, but the Fed is warning you that the product of the equation that they have put together uh, is ultimately going to be a devastating economic collapse for you. Not for everyone, but for you. So the folks out there who don't have assets are at risk. The fo and when I'm talking assets, I'm talking about stocks, I'm talking about crypto, I'm talking about uh, real estate, I'm talking about property, I'm talking about businesses, I'm talking about savings, capital, investments. If you don't have those, folks, beware. So I came across a, a, a news article that was a little bit disturbing, and this is a serious sign for folks out there that again fall into the category of no assets now uh, a woman in boynton beach florida actually was uh, struggling to pay her bills and keep up with her medications and just pay for basic necessities as she was unable to access the pension plan that her late husband had and she was relying on that for her income to supplement her income and this is exactly the problem with what the fed is doing and it's the folks with no assets that need to be aware and be preparing for what's going on and what is likely likely to happen and ultimately what it boiled down to is she was able to actually get her the pension plan to pay out and receive the retroactive back pay however she said that she was going to have to sell her prized possession her engagement ring that her late husband had given her uh when they you know when they uh decided to uh before they decided to get married and uh she has to sell it in order to cover expenses that is an asset that is an asset however she's going to sell it and that is what she's going to use to supplement her income and bring in some additional rev some additional cash to help bridge the gap that the economy and inflation has created for her and so many like her well this is the fed's warning folks for the folks out there who don't even have that engaged that diamond engagement ring to sell those without the assets they have nothing to fall back on they have nothing to fall back on now you know with that being said the fed is warning you they're not telling you this specifically because obviously they can't because that's just not how they roll that's not their mo but i'm telling you this for a fact right now that if you are an American citizen and you have no assets you have no investments you have very little if any savings you have no prospects on the horizon you have one single income source your diversification level is zero and ultimately you basically would like knowledge education and information on investment basics for beginners well if you fall into this category then I seriously urge you to take a close look at your financial situation and prepare for the likelihood of a uh, negative impact and decline in your income, an increase and in rise in your expenses and your bills and your overhead costs on a monthly basis and plan and uh, prepare for possible uh, economic collapse as the Fed continues to push higher interest rates and more job layoffs and the possibility and likelihood of more announcements and more news headlines coming about that companies are laying off another 10,000 employees, 2,000 employees, 3,000 employees. You know, the numbers, they keep changing, but at the end of the day, people keep losing their jobs. The folks that are losing their jobs, that have assets, that have savings, that have investments, that have businesses, that have multiple streams of income, that have diversification, they have um, dividend payments, they have uh, they have businesses that they own and, and opportunities on you know prospective opportunities on the horizon that they've been working on on the side, some of these side hustles. Those folks are going to be insulated. I'm not going to say that they're guaranteed to be, uh, you know, protected and safe, but they're definitely better insulated than those who are not and who do not have these available to them. And it is something that should be seriously considered before it is too late. Now, I'm not trying to 
cause panic or incite fear. I'm only trying to inform and educate and share the information with you as I see it. And as I see it, the Fed is making it clear that the folks without assets, the folks out there with you know bad credit, uh, you know heavily in debt, uh, no savings, no no uh, no backup plan whatsoever. Those are the folks that are at greatest risk. And you know to think that you know perhaps maybe you can skate by and slide by maybe you get lucky but odds are you know there's going to be a large portion that are not and if you are in a position now to do what is hard when it is easy then you're definitely i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt you're going to be much happier for it down the road and be very grateful that you did do it when you could opposed to waiting until wow i just got laid off wow i just lost my job wow i just got evicted wow i just got foreclosed on wow i just received a notice in the mail that my utilities are going to get cut off wow my vehicle my car my truck just got repossessed it's like come on guys let's not wait until that happens let's work now to make sure it doesn't and the fed they're not telling you that they're not telling you that specifically or explicitly and i am I'm only doing it because I like you, I trust you, I consider you guys friends and family, and I wanna see you guys succeed, I don't wanna see you guys fail, I don't wanna see you guys fall victim to the, the craziness that's going on out there every single day. If you guys got any questions, you can always contact me, my email is in the description. If I do not email back immediately, it does not mean I'm ignoring you, so please don't take it personally. I receive a lot of emails. Uh, you can hit me up directly. I respond very quickly to DMs in the network. That's patreon.com forward slash Kevin 24 seven. And as always, I will not contact you or try to uh, uh, chat with you in the comment section below through WhatsApp. That is not me. That is some bot that has stolen my picture and they're trying to contact, get people to contact them through some scam or some sort. So don't fall for it. It happens on every channel, not just mine, folks. So uh, with that being said, you guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.